In today's video, I'll explain how to use synthetic urine for a drug test. And just to be clear, this video is strictly for educational use. Always remember to abide by federal laws. Before we jump in, make sure to hit subscribe, leave a like, and ring the bell to stay updated. Now, to start off, let's talk about what you can expect from a drug test. It's crucial to understand this to figure out what you need to do to successfully pass it. Keep in mind, drug testing services know all about the tricks and hacks, and they're constantly on the lookout for cheaters. Before you head to the bathroom, they'll ask you to empty your pockets and take off unnecessary items like coats and hats. They'll inspect your personal items like your wallet for any altering items, say eye drops. If they find something suspicious, you'll have to give your sample under direct observation. In other words, someone will literally be watching you pee. Not exactly fun, right? So remember, you can't simply stash the synthetic urine bottle in your pocket. You'd need a more discreet method. I'll get to that later. Once you're in the bathroom, a collector will be outside listening for any unusual sounds. Any strange noises might rouse suspicion. You should also know that there will be no water in the bathroom. All taps are sealed and the toilet water is dyed blue. So if you're using powdered synthetic urine, make sure to mix it before you arrive at the drug testing service. After you've collected your sample, you'll hand the cup over to the drug test collector. They'll check the temperature of the urine. Freshly produced urine is typically between 97 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit. If you submit the sample between two and four minutes after collection, it should be acceptable, but anything lower than 90 degrees might raise eyebrows. Ideally, aim for a temperature of around 96 and 98 degrees. To achieve this, you'll need a reliable heat source. Finally, the urine sample is sent to a lab for further analysis. They'll use a dipstick adulteration test to check for any adulterants and confirm whether the urine is real by testing its pH, creatinine levels, and specific gravity. If these are not within the normal range, your sample will be rejected. So you need to ensure that the synthetic urine you use is of high quality and capable of passing these validity checks. Some might think, why not use a clean friend's urine? Well, I wouldn't recommend that. It's not a reliable option. You don't know what substances your friend might have unknowingly ingested. Perhaps they had a few puffs of weed a couple of weeks ago. It stays detectable in the system for quite some time. Not to mention, human urine spoils fast. Even if stored in the fridge, the drug test collector can still spot signs of spoilage in the urine. Plus, you still have to keep it at the right temperature, so you'd need a heating pad. Think of the consequences. If you're caught, you'll be asked to submit another sample under direct observation. Considering that synthetic urine isn't that expensive, you should ask yourself, is the risk really worth it? So, from what we've learned about the drug testing procedure, we need three things. High quality synthetic urine a reliable way to keep it warm, and a discreet method to sneak it into the drug testing service. I've included links to some high-quality synthetic urine products in the description, but feel free to use the one you trust. Now, let's talk about keeping the fake urine warm. There are three methods. One method involves tucking the urine bottle close to your body, specifically in your crotch area or your bra. However, this method doesn't guarantee that the urine will reach and maintain the necessary temperature. Another method is to use heat activator powder. This powder is added to the urine and heats up within seconds. Sounds great, but there are a couple of downsides. First, the sample will start to cool down after a while, so you still need a way to maintain the temperature before submitting the sample. Second, you can't bring the vial with the heat powder into the drug testing service. That's why this isn't my preferred option. My favorite method is to use heat pads. Heat pads are specifically designed with chemical elements that, once activated, produce heat for up to six hours. Avoid regular hand warmers sold as they can overheat the sample. I recommend using these special heat pads that come in synthetic urine kits. These pads produce the exact amount of heat required and come with a sticky side, so you can easily attach them to the urine bottle. Once attached, they'll heat the urine to body temperature within 30 to 60 minutes and maintain that temperature for up to six hours. And lastly, ensure you use a urine bottle that has a temperature strip attached. It's critical to be able to check the temperature of the sample before you submit it. Now let's move on to how you can discreetly bring the urine to the drug test. As I mentioned earlier, you'll be able to empty your pockets. 
However, they're not allowed to physically pat you down, so you have the opportunity to conceal the sample on your body. The most straightforward way is to stash it in your underpants. While this method works, I personally prefer others because walking around with a bottle in my crotch area isn't my idea of comfort. If you do decide to use this method, be sure the temperature strip and the heat pad don't directly contact your skin as this could distort the temperature readings and potentially cause burns. Wrapping the bottle and heat pad in a piece of cloth should help. A more convenient method might be to use stash boxers. They come with special pocket that's spacious enough for the bottle and heat pad. Personally, I lean towards a stash leg belt. It fits around the leg, comes with a pocket and doesn't interfere with walking, which is a big plus. However, the best option I'd suggest is to use a special urine bag with a belt, the incognito belt. This belt is discreetly placed around your waist and is completely invisible under your clothes. The belt already has high quality synthetic urine, enough for two uses, and it comes with two heat pads to maintain the necessary temperature. It also features an attached temperature strip, giving you control over the sample temperature. You can wear it all day without any inconvenience, ready to pass a drug test at a moment's notice. It even includes a tube with two clips, making it easy to release the urine into the cup. Check out the link to the incognito belt in the video description below. So to wrap it up, if you're looking to pass a drug test using fake urine, you need three things. High quality synthetic urine, a discreet method to bring it to the drug testing service, and a reliable method to keep it warm. While I personally recommend the incognito belt for convenience, I've shared other options too. Ultimately, the choice is up to you. You can find links to all the items mentioned in this video in the description box below.